lot of California investors invest in out of state, right? You guys are investing out of state quite often because pricing in California is really expensive, right? Housing market in California is out of control. Just dropped a video. Uh, it was like Ask James Wise 52, I believe. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the show notes below, but it was about uh, California's doubling their taxes now. It's already the most expensive state, and they're doubling the taxes, right? So it's expensive in Cali, right? That's why uh, the majority of people who invest out of state are people that live in Cali. And my client today is from Temecula, and that is his story. And I'm going to help him navigate an out-of-state market to make sure he doesn't do a bad deal. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the World Wrestling Fan. No. Nope. Nope. Wrong show. Wrong show. But if you do like wrestling and real estate, you should totally get the Real Estate 316 shirt designed specifically for the investor who enjoys the finer things in life, such as the Stone Cold Stunner and collecting that rent. Use promo code HWTV10 for a 10% off discount. But enough about my shirt. Let's talk about investing in real estate for my client, Jeff. Jeff, you are in Temecula. We are building you. A very robust and beautiful portfolio. We're doing a little bit of this. We're doing a little bit of that. We're doing a little of this. I like it. It's very balanced portfolio. I like it quite a bit. It's balanced. Balanced like a well-balanced diet, right? Now, truth be told, Jay Wise, a little too much hot wings, a little too much blue cheese in his diet. I should balance that out with a little bit more of that salad crap y'all be talking about. But that, that's not what we're talking about either. What we are talking about is making sure you do good deals and avoid bad deals. And you sent me a duplex, I'm sorry, no, a triplex uh, that looks really, really good, looks to be in a C-grade neighborhood. Let's talk about it right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's gonna be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's gonna be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. Now this one, uh, this one is confusing, okay? Uh, this is definitely confusing. Now, the address is 11221 Parkview, Cleveland 44104. It has been on the market for seven days. 79500 Now, you sent this in to me, and you're like, yo, I looked at this. Uh, looks like it's a good deal. Uh, it's through uh, my real-time MLS feeds that I got for you popped up in a C-grade neighborhood. However, I got a little bit of red flags popping up because it A, seems too good to be true, and B, uh, you graded on the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. You graded it uh, as an F neighborhood, so what's going on? All great points and all very important. Uh, the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods is definitely the starting point. Uh, on the Ultimate Guide, folks, and again, if you've never seen the Ultimate Guide, if you're trying to invest in Cleveland real estate from out of state, right, you're out there in California and you're trying to navigate the Cleveland area, you definitely need to read that. I got it in the show notes below. It's also on the tools and resource tab of HoltonWise.com. Uh, I graded everything on an A to F scale. F, super duper cheap, super high risk. A, super expensive, super low risk. Now, I think the sweet spot that a lot of investors who like the cash flow, low prices, to your Section 8 stuff. I think a lot of people, the most popular assets that we are selling here at Holton Lines are the C and D assets, right? And this popped up in a C-grade neighborhood on the real-time feed, which, by the way, for anybody who doesn't know, you can get real-time MLS access from Holton Wise, right? You go to HoltonWise.com. Up top here, you click the Property Search for Sale tab. You got the Investment Properties for Sale show. That's properties we are selling. If you want to browse those, you can. MLS Search Analysis show. That's where we are right now. That's where I work with you one-on-one. -on -one. But you could also get direct MLS access. And that's what my client did. He has that. And I break these things down for you, right? You got your seller finance deal, seller finance multi, seller finance apartment building, stuff for flips. And then... You got your stuff by neighborhood class, right? A-grade singles, B-grade singles, 
Uh, well, actually, these are all A-grade stuff. A-grade singles, A-grade multi, A-grade five units, and then you scroll down, and it's for B and for C, okay? So you buy this, by the way. As soon as the property goes on the market, you get a notification the moment it happens, right? You find out at the same time all 5,000 or so realtors in this market find out. Very, very good if you're trying to stay up to date on the market. Here is the thing, right? Why did I grade it as an F? on the ultimate guide, but it popped up in the C feed. And unfortunately, uh, human error is why that happened. This is the property, 11221 Parkview, Cleveland 44104. This is absolutely an F-grade neighborhood, 100%. This is uh, a very, very rough area, okay? Super rough, right? Look it. See all these? See all these torn down lots, torn down lot, 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 right? It's an F grade neighborhood, okay? And that's why I graded as such in the ultimate guide. Here is the unfortunate thing. Uh, real estate is an imperfect industry, right? And I talk about this on the show quite often. I talk to you guys about other realtors sucking at their jobs. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I talk about that sometimes. Now, I don't like to call anybody out by name, but here is the situation. Uh, for a lot of people getting into real estate, you probably don't know this, uh, but 90% of realtors fail, okay? That means if there is 100 realtors that become realtors this year, next year, only 10 of them will still be realtors. The other 90 will have gone off and got a different job because they didn't make enough money or it didn't work out, okay? Huge turnover in the real estate industry, right? And that's just not just Cleveland. That's nationwide, right? It's not exactly 90%. Like every year varies a little bit, but it's, it's usually like in the high 80s. So rounding, I go up to 90%, okay? Uh, so with that said, a high percentage of the time you guys are dealing with agents, they're probably not very good. They're inexperienced, and they're probably not going to make it. Uh, the way the MLS works in the Cleveland market, and I presume this to be the way all MLSs work, but when we as agents and brokers go to input these properties into the MLS, we input the address, uh, but it is an imperfect system. Uh, the address, in addition to the address, there's like another field, uh, and it's the neighborhood, okay? Okay. It's the neighborhood, right? And what had happened is the particular agent that listed this particular property uh, put it in the wrong neighborhood, right? So the MLS thinks that this is in a totally different part of the city than it actually is. You would think that like that manual neighborhood thing uh, like wouldn't have to exist and it would just do it through the actual address. However, I did not create the MLS. Uh, I am not the tech people behind the creation of said MLS that the 5,000 or so agents in this market utilize. Uh, so that's just the way the cookie crumbles, right? So the agent needs to get the address correct, but there's this other field. Uh, they also have to get, like, the area correct, right? So for some places, like if you're in a suburb, right, like for Parma, for instance, Parma properties, uh, all of Parma is just one grouping. But Cleveland, much bigger, right? There's like 70,000 people or something like that in Parma. Uh, but Cleveland, there's like 360,000. There's like many, many groupings of neighborhoods in Cleveland, right? There's a ton of them. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many off the time I had, but there's like 15, right? Uh, 15 different ones, and they break it up into these little neighborhoods, right? Uh, so what had happened is the agent uh, input it in correctly, and it popped up uh, as it was what we would have categorized as a C-grade neighborhood, but in fact, it truly is an F. So for this one, I don't think you should look any further. If this one was C-grade and it really was, well, I mean, it really is. It's 79.5, and it was actually a C-grade. Yeah, that'd be a steal, but if it really was a C-grade neighborhood, this would really be selling for like 120k. There would be like 450 offers. Uh, based on what you're doing with your portfolio, uh, you have not identified F-grade neighborhoods as something you are interested in investing in. Uh, so for that reason, uh, this is just an unfortunate mistake. Uh, that's part of the process, folks. That's why things like the real-time MLS feeds are great tools for you. Things like the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods are great tools for you. But if you're going to be investing out of state in Cleveland, you need to have those types of tools to begin the due diligence process. But what you really need at the end of the day is somebody like your boy Jay Wise here to make sure you get proper due diligence in every property so you don't 
accidentally buy an $80,000 property in a neighborhood you're not that familiar with because you're from out of state. So uh, if you guys dug the show, how I did that for my client, if you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one in the same way, after the show, go ahead and click the notes below and you could book a free call to talk to my team so I could make sure you do the deals that make sense and you avoid the ones that don't. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.